Well, I'm on a fax to Mars. And here's a mad science update for you. Now, in Peru, we claim to have found an alien looking hand with three exceedingly long fingers and uh, no thumb, no opposing thumb. Strange three finger alien looking hand found in Peru. Less than two months after the revelation of the discovery in Peru of a tiny humanoid head, comes another strange finding that is no that is less humanoid and more alien like. The hand that has only three fingers, no thumb, has no other and has other strange characteristics that could make its identity difficult. Does it belong to an alien and can no longer give its buddies a high three? An elongated finger fingers a sign the being also has an elongated skull. As with the tiny skull revealed in November, details on the hand are minimal. minimal. Hidden Inca Tours has some information on its website. The site claims the hand was brought to them by the same person in Cusco, Peru, who bought brought them a skull and a very small action figure size mummy. X-rays of the hand show figures that are much longer than humans with six bones and five knuckles for a finger instead of three and two. What would be a palm of the hand shows multiple fractured bones. As was similar strange artifacts found in Peru and other South American countries, the government is strict about removing them or even studying them in detail or even in person. As a result, the site says DNA testing in the giant hand will not take place in the U.S. until 2017. Cultures that manually elongated skulls of individuals weren't known to all also elongate fingers. Well, gee. You think? How are you going to do that? Anyway, the site claims that local physicians examined it and determined it was not from a human, but could be from a mammal. That narrows it down to, well, it doesn't really narrow it down to anything. The hand doesn't resemble that of any known three finger uh, koalas have three, but also have a thumb or three toed sl the sloth earth creatures. Eliminating humans and no mammals, we're left with the hand being a hoax. Well, yeah. Or that of an alien. If it's a hoax, so far it's good enough to fool a few people who've examined it. Although they are tour vendors with obvious interests in keeping mystery alive. If it's from an alien, will anyone actually confirm it? What do you think of this? Okay, well, we're going to take a look at that site real quick. Alright, this is Hidden in Contours. Same basic pictures. The easy, initially called a fake Hollywood prop or whatever. The above artifact was seen by us in person recently in Cusco, Peru. It was presented to us along with small, mummified, elongated human, humanoid skull and a body by a local person. That tells us a whole lot. Above his skull, it was x-rayed and examined by physicians here in Cusco and stated that it was clearly not a human, but was a life form of some kind. Well, I could have told you that it was a life form. Skull is composed of bone and skin of some sort. Fans are in the works for radiocarbon DNA testing early in 2017 in the U.S. 
There's the x-rays on hand again. Nothing really new. Now, and now it just crapped out and got this pop-up. Again, another x-ray of the fingers shows that under the skin there are well-defined bones looking quite mammalian. The artifacts were found in a secret location in a tunnel in the southern desert of Peru. More details and perhaps artifacts will be discussed when available. So I'm going to break this down. Uh, taking a look at this. No. You have to understand something about skeletal muscle, muscle uh, architecture. See, your skeleton is a great deal of our skeleton's strength comes from its muscles. Most of it comes from the muscles, not from the bone. A lot of people don't understand this. Without the muscles, the bones just fall apart, basically. And this thing, that's bad enough. But you look at this thing, and you take the palm section, and then you look at the fingers, it's, it's too far. A human, human hand, palm, is about the same size as the fingers, just about. This one is much, much longer in the fingers. If you understand basic physics, uh, you'd have to have some unbelievably powerful muscles in the hand to be able to uh, do anything with those fingers. As you get out towards the end, you're just multiplying the force. Yeah, if you just take your fingers and feel them a little bit, most of that is, most of the meat there is muscle. These bones are too long. I'm not an anatomist or anything, but those bones are just too long. And too many joints. No. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but no. You gotta have a little common sense. It's just not gonna work. I'm afraid I have to uh, side with skeptics on this one. It just won't work. And all the all those joints and yeah, you, know, you would have to have just gigantic muscles around uh, all those bones in order to make it work because it's so long. I don't think it's even feasible looking at it. The bones would have to be, you know, a thousand times stronger than ours, which given that they're fractured, uh, they wouldn't be. I have to decide with skeptics on this one. This is bullshit as far as I'm concerned. It's not real. I don't see how it could be real, to be honest with you. Well, if I had eight, eight instead of three, I might say it's a spider, but no. The artifacts of Mars, that's been your mad science update. This thing is not real. Prove me wrong.